Hello friends! Today I'm going to show you a little trick so you can color grade your images before you generate them. I've started with this gradient here and from this gradient I have generated these images. I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's go to pixels and search for gra gradient. Oh, yeah. uh, let's download this. Let's go in back into our stable diffusion. Go to image to image. And we're going to drop the gradient here. As our input for our image to image. Now I have prepared a prompt here from a user named Gav makes on Reddit, and I thought it uh, it looked so cool, so I'm gonna borrow it from him. So this is a portrait of a beautiful model by Flora Borsi. I added some stuff. I added flamboyant extravagance, and I want. Uh, a dye haircut. We're gonna go with KLMS up to 50 because I like the consistency and we're gonna up the strength to 1. The rest we're just gonna leave default. Might as well run 4 images as well. So what happens now is that the image will take the colors from the input but since we have a very high strength it will actually create a person out of this as well. If we would put this at 0 we wouldn't get, we would get almost nothing. See? So just make that one. Let's generate. As you can see in these images, all of them took something from the input. Here you have the hair in the style of the gradient here, but it left the background. In this one you have the background on both sides and even went into the hair a bit. I think that's pretty cool. This one has too much face in the image so we can't see a lot of the colors. And this one's super cool as well because you get all of the background and some of the dye in the hair as well. So I think this one's super cool. Now let's try something else. 15 minute intermission. Let's remove this. Let's let's go with Neon Cyberpunk City. Neon Cyberpunk City Octane Render 8K Hyperrealism. Let's see what this gives us. We're going to leave all the settings the same. And all the images here take input from the gradient. You have the pink and purple on this side and the turquoise down here. It's actually creating some sort of, uh, well this looks like displays or lightings in almost all of the images. And the yellow up here is sunlight coming in from, well, all of the images except this one. So I think that's pretty cool for a very basic prompt. Let's try something else. Color, colorful lit portrait of an old man. Photography in studio. Let's go with 8K fine photography. Let's see what this gets us. Now this last dude here, he disappeared. But in three of these images, you can see the power of, of the color gradient, because you're not only getting a background, you're actually getting the light on the person as well. Now this one got a green light, and we had some turquoise down here, but that's not really correct. But, but here you have a yellow light coming from the right side, and you have a pink purple light coming from the left side. And that's actually look, looking pretty good based on our input. And the same in this one here, you have a you have a pink reddish light coming from the left side here. So yeah, that was just a quick tip of how you can color grade your images in Stable Diffusion, a gradient as an input for your creations. Good luck, bye bye.